Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC. Once again, I, I just un started unboxing this. This giant box from uh, Blade and Carry. And there were a lot of things in it. So we're moving on. The first one I unboxed, I put it back in the box because it's so pretty. I didn't want to hurt it. It's the, this, it was the Rob Johnson's, this beautiful thing. I put it back in the box because it's probably too expensive and it's at least a mortgage payment and I don't have that kind of money. Now we have a patch, a pouch, a pouch from Dan Carraher. Carraher. Daniel? D Dan. We're going to unzip it. There'll be no boxings today. No unboxings. Just zippings. Unzippings. Let's get to unzipping. right first off lady carrie thank you again this is all way too kind and crazy uh the, this rob johnson's custom is just stunning and i don't even still kind of reeling from that right now if i'm being honest but dan carraher is a name i've heard and i'm, I'm hoping when i open this i will i will know more i will understand more dtf is the name come on that's a little kinky isn't it this is a pg show it's not pg at all dtf m390 titanium satin what are you, dude? Is this a production knife? Future me. We know it's called the Dan Carr DTF. And uh, look, let me tell you a thing or two. Uh, beautiful little knife. Kind of feels like a Rayot. I want to say this is a production knife. Very nice. We have beautifully contoured titanium uh, handles. Lock bar. It's a frame lock. Titanium frame lock. Love the relief cuts here. The little, like, pipe. A little drill hole uh, relief cuts for the uh, lock bar. We got a flipper tab and a front flipper tab and a big old flick and fuller. Nice milled titanium pocket clip. Uh, hidden hardware on the inside. I like that. Very minimal hardware. T8 on the pivot. T8. T6. T8. I'm not sure. It looks like a T6. T6 on the body screws. Very interesting. Clean, simple, but interesting. Intriguing. Uh, size comparison real quick. Spider Co. Pair 3. Stay... Stay boy. It's probably good pair of three. Smaller, it's a small knife. Smaller than that, uh, tactile rock wall. It's a almost dead on rock wall size. So it's a good size for me for EDC. Little guy. Is it gonna be a primary carry for me? No. But it's a good size. You could daily this all day. So let's flick this thing open. Ooh, oh! Aggressive little blade. Uh belt satin, recurve, drop point, poon? pseudo poon fake poon real poon uh, some kind of poon hello what do i call this what is this called i don't know wild looking knife uh kind of a weighty little guy v very heavy for the size uh crazy looking so in hand yeah full four finger grip for me if you have bigger hands you're gonna struggle with it choked back fingers nestling nicely nice contouring no sharp edges feels good no jimping here on the thumb ramp a little bit back here but you don't really land on that so it doesn't really do you any good but that feels fine locked in no forward finger choil uh you can get right about there under the pivot that feels fine you know thumb way out here tons of control pinch grip uh yeah with the fuller there 75 80 percent of the day you could pinch grip that sure that feels fine nice and control very good looking little knife but wild looking um, usually not, like, if I saw this on a website somewhere, this is not one I'm gonna go out of my way to buy, visually, visually, but I've heard the name, Future Me will tell you more, or not, he probably won't, he's an idiot, um, and he's unmedicated right now, so God help him, but, flipper tab, action works great, running on ceramic bearings, it feels like a Rayot, this has to be a Rayot, Future Me, front flipper, yeah, sure, all day. Oh my god, that detent is brutal. Gnarly detent. Reverse flick? Yeah, sure. Thumb flick? Yeah, easy. Well, learning curve, but... Yeah, it makes a real nice zippy noise. Like, zip, zip, when you flick it open. I like that. God, so I have an injury on my finger. So it makes using a flipper tab very difficult. So if I seem like I'm an idiot right now, it's because my fingers hurt really bad. And I have a, a, a wound on my thumb. Both on the same hand. So front flipping hurts and back flipping hurts. I'm falling apart. But all things considered, action's really nice. Super smooth. 
really, really well dialed. That jimping on that front flipper is aggressive. It's going to shred the flesh off your finger, just letting you know. Not sure if this is in stock. When this came out, there's no date on here. Daniel Car Carraher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Carraher. Future me. We'll leave links down below. But check out these acoustics. It's pretty gnarly. Maybe. If I could learn how to open the damn thing. Zip. It's a good noise. Oh my god. Oh, my finger hurts. Pain. Suffering. I gotta open it with my middle finger on the flipper. It's the only way. Because my finger hurts too bad. It's probably infected. I might die. It's fine. Yeah, action solid. I wish I had fingers that actually worked. Let's do it left-handed. Yeah, it works fine, lefty. Front flip. Yeah, okay. When your fingers aren't, like, in agony, it's a lot easier. Um, it doesn't feel like a torture device anymore. Because the jimping on the flipper and the front flipper is aggressive. But, uh, open size comparison real quick. Flick that baby open. So open, it's short, it's smaller than a Rockwell. Rockwell's a little freaking knife, so that's pretty amazing. And uh, much smaller than a pair of three. So it's a very little guy, a little cutie patootie. But it, again, it's it's probably as heavier or heavier than both of these knives. And it's smaller. It's a, it's a weighty boy. Got some heft to it. But we ought to cut something with it. M390 on the blade steel. Nice belt satin. Like I said, wild blade shape. Recurve, drop point, thumb ramp. I don't even know what to call this. The Dan Carr, her special? Hell, I don't know. But we ought to cut something. I have the Pure Michigan Family Travel Guide. I don't know why they sent this to me. I don't... I've never been to Michigan. Ever. I'm 31 years old. I don't plan on it. Maybe once before I die. Yeah, sure. It's a flat grind and not a very tall one. So it's not exactly a razor beam, trademark. But it does cut. I'm sure out of the box it was a nice little slicer. And this is not my knife. Bladed Carry has probably carried this and used this. So it may not be a true factory edge, but yeah, dude. I mean, it's it cuts. It'll slice. Slice and dice. There you go, dude. The Dan Carher D DTF. Down to what? You know what I mean? Whoops. Almost threw away your certificate of authenticity. Sorry. Sorry, Jeff. But that is it. Uh, be sure to leave a like down below. Uh, shouting out to our friend Bladed Carry. Shout him out. Love him. Let me know what you think. Comment. Subscribe. Uh, leave a like. A little thumbs up action. Uh, join the Patreon. Become a channel member. Help support the channel. Uh, tons of affiliate links down below. I will leave links to this and whatever else I can find on Dan down below as well. Um, I'm sure this video taught you nothing other than this is a Dan Carr or her DTF. And uh, my fingers hurt. But that is it. So thank you for watching and tuning in and watching, and also tuning in. Did I mention thanks for watching? That is it from me. Until next time, bye-bye now.